Hello everyone! So it is now that time of the year where I film my top 10 albums of the year. <laughs> wow, crazy concept. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be sharing my top 10 albums of 2018, and these are just my favorite albums of the year. Definitely not the best, um, just my favorite. It's plural. And also, I ranked it from like my least favorite to like my top favorite, and some of these albums that are lower on my list are better than the ones that are higher up on my list. But, you know, you can enjoy worse albums. Does that make sense? No. But also, I'm really unsure about my list this year. Um, usually every year I like kind of know what's up. Yeah, usually every year I kind of know like what's up, like what's my favorite albums. But I feel like this year I enjoyed a lot more like EPs than actual albums. And I don't put EPs on my top 10 albums list. I usually do a top 10 EPs of the year too. I might do that. I might wild out and do that. But who knows. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna start because... This is a long introduction. So starting at number 10, well, it is an EP, so oops. But I really didn't have an album to put in the spot. And it is How to Fix Everything by Fantasy Camp. I just got into Fantasy Camp this year. I'm a huge fan. He has some tracks that feature Wicca on it, and I love Wicca Face. So like, honestly, like, Wicca Face being featured on tracks like already has me sold, you know? Um, but he's just like chill music, golf boy click kind of vibes, you know what I mean? Um, don't know how to describe it because if you didn't know I'm actually dumb so can't really help you out there but if you like Wicca definitely check him out if you haven't huge fan that's pretty much all I have to say about that it's an EP and I'm sorry now moving on to number nine an actual album crazy concept um, and that is Be the Cowboy by Mitski um, also just got into Mitski this year as well with this album it was the first time I've ever listened to her and um, the song Nobody just like grabbed my attention right away huge fan um the lyrics you know they were just really be hidden but yeah mitski is a female singer um i don't know the genre because once again i am dumb but you know if you like lana del rey marina at the diamonds marina at the diamonds my mind is so powerful um definitely recommend you check out mitski she has some really great Music. I also really like the song Lonesome Cowboy. That's also a very good one off the album. Cool shit. Um, next at number 8 is War by Trail Lies. Now technically this is an EP, but it's a longer EP, so like, it's kind of an album. Not really. Yeah, I've liked Trail Lies for a while now. I was anticipating a full length, and you know what? I wasn't disappointed. Like, some of the songs on the album, like obviously we've already heard they were already released. My favorite song is definitely God of Rage. Just like huge, huge fan. It sounds really good. They're a straight edge band and although I am not straight edge and cannot resonate with the lyrics, resonate, resig... Relate? Smart girl. Yeah, although I can't like relate to the lyrics or anything, I do enjoy it. I feel like I can still like bands that I can't like relate to the lyrics to just because like, you know like, I, I hear the passion don't judge the screaming before you hear the meaning. And I can like appreciate the like riffs and shit and just like the sound of the album overall. So I thoroughly enjoy. Um, I'm actually going to Detroit to see them soon. So really fun and fresh for me. Um, if you watched my story time of what happened to me last time I went in Detroit, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Thank you, God. Um, next at number seven is Death Rattle by King Nine. Um, King Nine, great hardcore band. <laughs> Don't really know what you want me to tell you about this one. I like the album. I think it is good. Honestly, why am I not a music critic? My words are just so powerful. But yeah, Death Rattle, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now it's not higher up on my list, even though I think it's a really good album. I just didn't find myself listening to it as much as other ones. It also came out later this year, so like, not as much opportunity to listen to the album. Yeah, like Coward's Run Part 2 I think is a good song. Just a lot of good songs that be hidden, you know? I think they're good. That's all I really have to say about that, so check it out if you haven't. This video is thriving. I'm doing so good. So well. So next at number six, I have No Matter the Cost by Blind Justice. Now I was really, really, really enjoying this album a lot earlier in the year. I still like it, I mean I just haven't listened to it as much, but before, definitely listening to it a lot. I definitely was. My favorite songs on the album are Cast You Out and No Matter the Cost. I think they're very good. They're hardcore. You know, the album just has me feeling some type of way. 
and it's in the best way possible and I love it and it's great and I don't really know what else you want me to say about this album. This is why I don't make music related videos really. I do. But I mean I, I'm not a music critic. I don't know how to tell you about albums. It's good and I like it and I think you should listen to it if you haven't. That's so cool. I'm so cool, wow. Next at number 5 is Proper Dose by The Story So Far. And this album was different than what I expected. I didn't expect it to sound like this. But you know what? I really, really enjoyed it. That's why it's number 5 on my list. Um, I love The Story So Far. They're like one of the pop punk bands that I still love. Honestly, they're probably up there for some of my favorite bands. I just think they're really great. And Proper Dose like definitely didn't let me down. Um, the song Upside Down just... Wow. Whenever someone says it's all love now, you know, you just have to say upside down. Or it's all love, then you go now, upside down. Like, that's my response to everything. I think it's a great song, and I think it's a great album. And a lot of people say they get, like, turnover vibes from it. Which, like, I guess it's a lot more, like, shoegazy, I don't know, than, like, pop punk, but obviously still pop punk. Um, and it definitely sounds a lot different than all their other albums. I think they're the last three full lengths, like, they sounded different, they didn't all sound the same, but like, they still had like the same vibe, and I think this album has a lot different vibe, like more mature sounding album, which is great, I think a lot of the Story So Far fans are now older, we're ready for a more mature sounding album. I am, and I really do like this album, I think it's really great. The so next at number four on my list is Time and Space by Turnstile. Although I don't think this is my favorite Turnstile release, I still really liked the album, like the song Real Thing is probably my favorite. It was like a single that came out and you know what? I just really liked it. It was really good and it's still probably my favorite. Um, I like the little um, interlude tracks. I think they flow nicely with the album and honestly overall I think it's just a good Turnstile album. I think they did great, did good things. I also saw Turnstile for the first time this year which was like it wasn't the best honestly. It was kind of like a cracked out show. It wasn't that good but they, they did good you know. Um, I enjoyed. I also enjoy them, so how cool is that? Um, I also pre-ordered their album on vinyl, as long, along with like a couple other ones on this list, so fun. Um, no one cares. So next at number three is Air Zone by Vane. I love Vane. I think this is a really good album, and honestly, if I was ranking albums on like how good they were and not like how much I enjoyed them, this one would definitely be maybe like number two on my list. I think it was written really nicely, produced really nicely. I think it's just like a great album. And I feel like at this point everyone's heard Vane, the Vane hype train. It's hype, you know? Um, I saw Vane so many times this year, love them. Um, I was anticipating a full length because, you know, one EP isn't enough. So was really excited that they're releasing this. I really did enjoy the album. I just, you know, isn't higher up on my list because I didn't listen to it as much as the other top two albums on my list, but I think it's really, really great. Um, I like the little, like, technological... I don't really know how to describe that sound they have in their album. I think it's really cool. They're doing great things, you know? Um, really happy for them. I feel like they're gonna explode even more than they already have, so... Love that for them. Great upgrade. Character development. Next at number two on my list is In the Promise of Another Tomorrow by Regulate. Um, I love this album so... <laughs> so much. Um, I was anticipating this album. How fun is that? And, you know, I don't think this album is as good as other albums that are ranked lower on my list. I don't think it's made as well. But personally, to me, I enjoyed this album a lot. My camera's really dying. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really, just a really good album. I really like the song Mind Crime. It's my favorite on the album. It just resonates with me, if that's the right word. I don't know. I'm a dumb bitch. But yeah, when I went to Florida, I definitely listened to this album like a billion times. It's like all I listen to. So I just really like the album. It's really good. It's hardcore and it's fun and it's fresh. Um, next at number one on my list. Definitely, I think this is like the best album on my list. Um, obviously it's number one. It's my favorite. Loved it so much, and that is Springtime and Blind by Fiddlehead. Um, this album just, it really be hidden, you know? It's so good. Um, I don't really know how to explain their genre. Kind of reminds me of, like, Title Fight in a way, but, like, not really, but, like, kind of, you know? Um, my favorite song on the album is Head Hands. So good. I saw Fiddlehead this year, but fun fact, um, I was extremely intoxicated and was throwing up in the bathroom for basically the entire show, so... That is so fun for me. But I did see Fiddlehead, so 
how fun is that? But I don't actually remember it that well, but like, I was there. Um, I think this album is really, really, really good. I think it was made so well. Um, it also just sounds so good. I feel like every song in the album is good. I also like how they have like, the talking <laughs> songs. Don't know what they are, like the like phone calls. Like I love that. I love when bands do that. And as much as like I don't want to listen to those songs every time I listen to the album, like I do skip over it. I think they're so cool and like that's one of the things that grabbed my attention right away when I was listening to the album. So love that for them. Love Fiddlehead. They're doing great, great things. If you haven't checked out this album, um, honestly, you should probably do that. That's all I really have to say. But um, yeah, those were my top 10 albums of 2018. All the albums I enjoyed thoroughly this year. There were other albums I liked, but like. Not enough to put on my list, you know. Um, let me know down below what your top 10 albums were. I would love to know. I'd love to check out new music. So love that for me. Please do that. If you don't, I will literally call the cops on you. So you should probably, probably go do that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to smile and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, oh.